Alright, so this question is a skyline problem. So uh, if you have time, just read over it. But uh, the problem is pretty much uh, simple. So you have building I, so bu uh, building array, right? And then the building I is going to represent left, right, and height. Right? So uh, I'm going to just start the drawing. So this is what two two represent the left, and I represent the ending. So starting ending, and then this is H, which is height, which is ten, right? So this is pretty much the idea, right? So, so how do we actually need to do this? So uh, the problem is that when we uh, just imagine there, uh, there is a light, like shining from the left, right? So uh, basically it's like this. And then um, you want to know where is the point, uh, top, top, uh, top point uh, where, you, where your building ends, right? So it definitely it's right over here, right? Your building top left point and uh, end, uh, end with here, right? And then you go over here and this is now the top left building. So the top left building is right over here. And then you keep going and then just imagine the light, you would uh, just keep shining, right? Something like here, right? So just imagine there's the light, okay? And now you just keep going and then over right, right over here is where the light ending, right? And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then here, here's the light, and then here's the light. Keep going, keep going, this is the light, and this is the light, right? So uh, this is a solution, so you want to return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 point, right? 2, 4, 6, 7, yes. So now we want to know how do we actually need to do this question. So again, uh, I'm going to draw this, uh, draw this again, so uh, you need to return what? You need to return this of this. So this is the main thing, right? And then, uh, but before the hand, right? We need to know how. Uh, we have to sort this building array based on the height, right? So, um, I'm gonna have a list, and then inside of this is an array. And I'm just pushing every single uh, building array, right? Building array i into the, uh, just I mean, just. Just pushing the height, okay. So I'm going to name this of in array height, right? And then I'm going to just sort, I mean, sorry, I'm going to push the, uh, the in 1D array building to height when the when the starting, when the starting point. So this is a starting, so a new int. So I would say what? The starting index, right? Starting index with what? Negative height index. So I'm going to just push negative h for the start index and the ending with the positive h, okay? So this is actually helping me uh, at the end like when, I want to, uh, when I want to find out uh, what is the, the, the minimum height, I mean, because we're pushing a negative, right? So minimum height, well, it's going to be sorting, it's going to be from negative to positive, right? So uh, this would be the pretty uh, helpful when you have a negative edge and positive edge distinguished, right? So uh, once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna just draw again. So, uh, so so I have a list of int, right? So list of int is pretty important. Also, what? Uh, also, I need to sort I need to sort the edge, uh, which is height, uh, based on what? Uh, based on the index. Uh, bit uh, based on the index uh, index zero, right? Because the index zero is what? index 0 is either what starting and or ending right so there are two scenarios right when the index are not intersect right so you want to say okay smallest to greatest okay so which is what uh, a0 minus b0 right and but what, but what happens if the if the index are the same if the a0 and b0 are the same we want to know which one is what uh, which one we want to keep right because because uh, there are actually, there are actually two points you, you, you want to know which one you should keep, and definitely not this one, right? And then when, when we when we add into the uh, list of inner array, right? We add a negative value, right? So this is what just imagine this is uh, just, just just imagine this is what negative. Alpha. So imagine this one is going to be what negative ten. This one is negative five, something like this. Right, so negative seven. So negative ten is de definitely less than negative seven, right? So when we, uh, when we are comparing, right, we we want negative ten 
first, then it will set, set seven second, right? So this is how it is, right? So it's still going to be one, uh, the smallest to greatest, right? So once we have it, then we need a priority queue. So priority queue is going to be what? Uh, so based on the integer, right? And this is going to push my my height, my index one. So index one is height. Index zero is what? Starting and ending, right? This is index. And then this is index one height, right? And then I need to push PQ into the uh, height into the priority queue. But in the priority queue, it's going to be what the positive number. So we will just push the negative value, negative uh, negative index one value into the PQ. And then when you remove that, it's, it's going to be what pop pull the height positive value out, right? Because PQ is always positive number, right? So this is a tricky point, and then we basically just keep comparing, right? And then we we will definitely have what we will definitely have a current max and pre max. So pre max, pre max will start from zero, right? Starting from zero, and if if I have a if I have a send a send act, I mean sorry send coordinate, I I I'm not worried about. But if I have different height, right? I need to update, right? So this is ten. So when my current current max current max does not equal to the pre max, right? The, does not equal to pre max. I need to what? I need to add a coordinate. Add a coordinate, which is what starting with the height, right? So the height is for per max, right? So I would say uh, uh p zero, right? So, 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 something like this, right? And I would say per max into my list of lists, and then I will just what? Then I will have to update my pre max. To the furnace because this one's a, a because this one's update one and then this is pretty much it so let me stop coding and then follow along and this is going to be a little bit difficult difficult for sure but don't ever give up right. so list of this integer right and i'm going to call result new array list and i definitely need to return result right so I need a list of in array, right? I'm gonna go height, going to call height, and then I will definitely traverse my building. I'm just call B building, and then I'm gonna just add height to add new in, and passing the B zero. So the index zero is definitely what. It's definitely going to be a negative value for what? B2, right? And height add new ink B1, comma, positive B2, right? So the zero index is going to be what? Left, starting, and then index 1 represent ending, uh, index 2 represent the height, right? So once I have it, right, I'm going to sort. Based on the height, and then I'm going to sort based on the height with the index. So if uh, if they are if a if a zero is equal to b zero, right? Um, this is going to be this is going to be based on height. We want to height, right? Height smallest to greatest, right? So if they are not equal, so just do to that list. So if they are not equal, it is it's so much easier. So I'm going to say P, uh, a zero minus b zero. But if they are equal, I'm going to still going to be what smallest to greatest. So imagine, imagine, just imagine a zero and b zero. So this is what this is a zero. But this is also b zero, right? And uh, this is definitely like negative 10, something like this, and this is like negative 7, right? Because we push a negative value into it, right? And then if if they are not equal, uh, it's going to be like this case, right? Something like this, right? So smallest to greatest, so this definitely work. But uh, if they are equal, if they are equal, it's, it's, it's this case, right? So I need to still compare it, right? The smallest to greatest. Alright, so let's just keep doing this. Now I have a priority queue. 
priority Q and this is going to be stored based on the height, right? And again, this is going to be what? B minus A. This is because I want to push the positive number no matter what into it, right? And the initial value is going to be zero. And I have a pre-max. It's going to be a zero. I need to traverse. I sort in uh, my, my sorting height, right? So I'm going to say H. Height, right? So if my... So... Okay, so I'm going to say... Uh, the index is zero, right? And the height is going to be what? H1, right? I'm saying H, right? Uh, actually, I cannot say H uh, height anymore because I put it, put it right over here. Uh, tall, something like this, tall, right? So if my tall is less than zero, which is the starting index, right? Which is, st which is the starting index, right? Uh, I, 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 I push the negative value into it, right? So which is starting index? I'm going to, I'm going to uh, push this into the priority queue. So pq.add. So since it's negative value, right, I need to what? convert it, right? So I need to say negative h1, right? So which is negative 12, right? Uh, so uh, actually, I don't want like, I mean, I don't want to uh, create a local variable. So I'm going to just I'm going to do like this. So this is what? You add a uh, you add a negative negative value which is positive value, right? And then if not, so if this is not a negative value, which means what well, is ending, right? And ending is, is already positive, right? So I can just say p dot p dot remove which is pole h one, right? Okay, now I need to know like is my current max is equal to p dot p. So I'm actually keep checking so. Uh, just imagine. So this is high of ten. So like two negative ten, and then this is three negative fifteen, and then what seven positive fifteen nine ten. So in the priority queue, I have what positive value only. So I will initially have zero, then I will have what I I will have ten right, and then I will have fifteen right. So uh, so I already what so. And I, when I push the put, when I add a PQ, uh, the first interval, so the PQ dot peak is definitely 10, right? Because it's sorted, right? So sorted, so 10. So I would say current max equal to 10. So 10 does not equal to priority uh, pre max, right? Pre max was 10. A uh, pre, pre max was 0, right? 0 does not equal to 10, right? So I need to add this point into it, right? Pre max. So it's not equal to current max. Uh, I will have to add a result. So it's going to be a list of, a uh, list, list of, right? And I will say B, uh, H, H0, right? Comma, comma, current max. So I'm uh, adding the coordinate, coordinate into it, right? And then once I have it, right? I need to update my premax. to my current max, right? So if there's another point which is starting at the same current height, current 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 height of the diagram, so I'm not gonna add in, right? Because this is my top left, right? If, if uh, just imagine if there is a point, so, uh, so this is my top left. So if there is a point right over here, I'm not gonna add. I'm I'm not gonna add this coordinate into the result because this is not this is not the top top left in the diagram. And this is going to be pretty much the solution. So just keep traversing, traversing, traversing. So you're adding, you're removing, you're adding, removing, and then you pick and to check does the pre, pre max equal to current max. Let me run it. So it might be an error somewhere. Oh, no error. Okay, something. All right, so let's talk about the time and space. So this is what? This is a space. This is also a space. This is space, but it's constant. So the space is going to be these two. So it's going to be all of them, right? The space is all of them. So time, this is time. This is time. This is time. This is also time. 
So the time this is order B, B represents the end of the building, and this is going still going to be what all of uh all of B log B. This is sodium, right? B log B, and this is what this is uh it determines the height, right? And I would say it's shorter, uh shorter than this one, right? A collection does so because for for this one you have every single interval, and this one is only for height. And in this one, this is all of all of H. All of H represent this one, right? And in the remove, it's going to be log. Uh, it's going to be log n, right? So you can say all of all of H log log n. And I mean, sorry, H is H equal to n, right? N represent a length of the building, so it's going to be n log n. And then space is all of n. So this is pretty much my solution. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, hard to understand and stop coding. And you have to know the logic, right? So this is a tricky part. And I, I read over all the people answer, so I kind of like struggle a lot for this question. And this, this is my, my solution on how, how I understand all the people answer. And I will see you next time. Bye.